It must have been love, but it's over now. It must have been good. I, oh, I never saw you there. I apologize. <laughs> How are you? So, today we are going to be talking about models of speculation and models of deduction. Okay, when we look at a situation or when something happens, often we speculate about it or we make deductions about this event. When we do that, we use a variety of different modal verbs and some of them show more or less certainty. Let's have a look. When we use must, it shows that we are sure that something has happened. You must have heard of the film Titanic. When we use might or might not, may or may not, or could, we are not so sure. 50-50, so and so. You might have met my mother before. You may not have heard of Lady Gaga. You could have seen that film in the cinema. There is a possibility that yes, something has happened, or no, it has not. And the final one that we're going to look at is here. Can't and couldn't. We use these almost in an opposite way of using must. We use these modal verbs when we are sure that something has not happened. You can't have been working here longer than me. You couldn't have taken my homework home. We use all of these modal verbs to speculate about a situation or to make, as I said, deductions about situations. So, you must have heard of Jonathan Dunn. Hmm. You may have heard of Maltalingua. You can't not have booked your trip to Malta. I hope this has helped, guys. Good luck.